Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free AI slash automation training, I'm going to try to keep this video brief and I'm following up on the last video that I made about autonomous agents when I cover agent GPT and auto GPT. Now, just recently I made a video about Autogen, but one of these autonomous agent platforms that I didn't cover is called Cognosis and it's very similar to agent GPT. If you do remember my video on that, you have a name that you can give it as well as goals. It is based off of three different ages. You got three points five you got gpt4 and then you have a companion by and all three of those were accompanying each other to help you accomplish that task so you basically just put the goal in here you give it a name and on the right hand side you have a list of all the different current tasks and it'll go through them until it's completely finished and this is sort of a web-based browser version of auto gpt that doesn't require any coding and cognosis is basically almost like the same exact thing so on the left hand side if you click on new, it's going to take you to this area here where you basically do the same thing. You ask it anything. And if you're not sure what to write, they even give you these different prompts down here you can use just like with chat GPT. So let's go with this and I'm going to just let it get started here. So as you can see, I got my prompt right here. It says, I need more information to give you a better output. What are your main areas of interest or prefaces in terms of attractions, food and unique experiences, art, history, nature? So I just put art. Is this your first visit to Paris? If not, have you already seen some popular tourist attractions and are looking to explore lesser known places? Yes. This is my first time. Are you comfortable visiting crowded attractions or do you prefer less crowded places, even if they're not the top attractions? Uh, prefer slightly less crowded places. And then I'll click on continue and I just go through this little process here. So now that it's got the proper information that it need, and as you can see right here, it is interactive. So it's giving me a suggested plan. I can click on start. And as you can see on the right hand side, it has the different tasks. So task number one, identify must visit art attractions in Paris. Number two, find unique local eateries in Paris. Number three, suggest unique art centric experiences in Paris. Number four, compile a five day itinerary for a trip to Paris. And if you click on info, it just gives you details about where those created, et cetera. So we've got them all laid out right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on start so you can see how this works. All right, so right now it's using a web search and it looked up the must visit art attractions in Paris. It considered 27 sources. So they got the sources right here. This is extremely impressive. And they got 21 more. So it's going through this whole process right now. It's going through the top one, identify must visit art attractions in Paris find unique local eateries in Paris, suggest unique art centric experiences. So right now it has already considered 27 sources in regards to the first one, identifying must visit art attractions in Paris. Then it goes through a summary of must visit art attractions in Paris for first time visitors based on consistently positive reviews and avoiding the most crowded destination, which was our prefaces. And then it goes into the rest of these different tasks. So I just wanna give you an idea of what it looks like as it starts to run. It goes through each one of these different tasks and it basically takes care of the objective for you. And it uses the web and it just goes through each one of them one by one, knocking them out for you, all right? So you get the general idea with this. Now on the left-hand side, you have your active task. And then on the bottom of that, you have your completed ones. And then if you go to settings, is where you can actually have integration. So you can integrate to Gmail as well as Google Docs. Now it's not available yet, but these are the current integrations that are coming soon. And then you do have billing where you can upgrade to get more iterations because if you're familiar with auto GPT, so they have two different plans. They got the free and then they got the pro and you can do it by monthly or annually. So with the free, you get 50 runs per month up to one documents per run and then one active schedule run. So you can actually schedule a run and have it run for later with the pro, which is 12 bucks a month. You get 500 runs up to 10 documents and then 10 active schedule runs as well as priority support and early access. So this is the annual, which is $12 a year. And then you got $15 a month, which is monthly. So if you remember with agent GPT, you had a certain amount of runs that you had. So on the free version, you have five runs a day. So as you can see, you have a lot more runs on Cognosis than you do over there. Now, if you go to the change log here, you have all the latest updates, improvements. So, so they've been working on something called continuing conversations where this allows you to engage in extended dialogues with the assistant even after the agent tasks are completed. So that's pretty cool. You have writing and web search improvements. So a task using web search would limit itself to considering up to 15 different sources, but now it's a lot more dynamic based on the type of query and sources it can consider. We now also provide better referencing and inline citation for you to really dig deep on any specific claims made in the response. 
They improve the writing and improve context transfers between tasks. This improvement is not limited to web search. With our new and improved way of transferring context between tasks, your writing tasks can do the same based on previous research. So if you go through this, you get an idea of what they've been doing since they've launched. And they've made a lot of improvements, as you can imagine. So this is kind of what their roadmap has been looking like. And if you just want more information, you can just always click on the change log on the left hand side. If you go to settings and then you go to. Uh, yeah. On the left hand side, go to what's new. It's going to take you directly to this change log. All right. So, yeah, I just want to keep this video brief. I just want to kind of give you a rundown of this software It's very similar to Agent GPT. I recommend that you check out my playlist on artificial intelligence and automation. I cover everything from auto GPT to chat GPT to Bing to copywriting softwares. I just checked this one out, the copywriting software. This is one of the first ones that I made a year ago. But it's essentially allows you to fill in a blanks, almost like what Agent GPT did. By the time you're done answering questions, it gives you an entire email sequence. And then also, I have this article here from Agent GPT, agent-gpt.net, and they talk about autonomous AI agents and GPT assistants. They give you some really good information in here, and they even have a table of contents for GPT assistants and autonomous agents. They have a table of contents here, so you can learn a lot about Agent GPT, autonomous agents and generally everything that's going on in this field specifically with agent gpt so i'm going to leave this in the description for your further reference and i also have everything else that i included as well as agent gpt and cognosis and i hope you enjoyed the video if you like content like this then i highly recommend that you check out my website jonathancoast.com i talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales for your business and be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below i have everything i included in this training and with that said i will see you in the next video see you then